Hey, my name's Hunter. I'm a local real estate agent in Palm Beach County. We're here at one of my listings here in Palm City. It's $1.9 million. We're going to walk through it and talk through what my typical day looks like. Welcome in. Welcome in this beautiful home. We're here taking photos, getting it staged, ready to go. So I'll talk a little bit about what the process is like to become a real estate agent. One of the cool things about being a realtor is you don't need a college degree to get into the business. All you need to do is do an online course, take a couple tests, and then you're ready to go. But what they don't tell you about real estate is once you start, you have to figure out a way to get your clients and get your business rolling. But there are a few things that you need to do to get you, get you to the point where you're getting clients, getting listings, and getting photos like this done. A few of those things include finding a mentor. My personal mentor is a person that we're actually co-listing this property with. His name's Kirk and his partner Dwayne. And they took me under their wing when I was about 14 or 15 and taught me the business and got me to the point where when I turned 18, I was able to get my license, graduate high school, and start selling homes right out the gate. So it's worked out kind of perfectly. And I'll tell you a little bit about what a typical day in my life looks like. It's super important as a real estate agent to time block your time into specific points. So that way you are able to prospect in the beginning of the day and then help clients in the later half of the day. So what a typical day in my life looks like is a little bit different from what a typical nine to five might look like. So typically I'll go into the office around nine o'clock and I'll start making phone calls and talking to my clients and getting my day all set up. So that way in the back half of the day after lunch, I'll be in front of clients, I'll be showing homes, I'll be doing photos like this, I'll be doing other things where I'm out and meeting with the people that I'm working with. So I divide my day into those two parts so I never forget one of the two. If you're showing clients all day or if you're working with clients all day, you're, forget, you're gonna forget to call your clients in the beginning of the day to get everything set up and ready to go. So you have to kind of balance those two things to make it happen smoothly and seamlessly. So in a, a huge part of my business and my career is finding my clients and making sure that I'm in contact with as many people as I can be. And I, the way I can explain this is it's like when you're working as a server at a restaurant. When you're working as a server, you're worried about getting people their food, taking orders and doing those things. But you're not worried about people coming in the front door. As a real estate agent, you're running the whole restaurant on your own. You need to worry about people getting their food and people being taken care of. but you also need to worry about people coming in the front door of the restaurant. So I don't just get handed clients all the time. I don't get handed listings or, or buyers to work with. I have to go out and find the people that come in my office or come in my, um, my contact list so I can call them and figure out a way to help them out. So there are a couple ways that I do that. One of the ways is I go out and I grab dinner or I go out and hang out in the community and I meet people naturally by meeting them at restaurants or meeting them in the community I live in and making friends. And I can turn those friends into clients by figuring out when they wanna move, how I can help them, and just if they need any real estate advice in general. Another way I get my clients is I buy leads from Realtor.com and Zillow and other websites like that. When, when a person is looking online at homes, they're gonna click around online and when they ask for information, their information comes to my phone and I can call them and get them the information they need. And in return, I help them find a house or sell the house or both. So we're wrapping up here, taking photos and doing the staging, but I want to touch on a little bit about doing open houses. And we do our open houses a little bit differently because we want to stand out. So we plan our events about a week out, like this home is going to be listed here on Friday, and we typically do our open houses right on the weekend. And we not only invite buyers, but we also invite all the neighbors so that we can get everyone at the house and make it a party. We usually put a food truck out front so that everyone comes. And then what we'll do is to check out at the food truck, you just put your email in and then you get free food and then we'll contact you to help you find a house or help you list your house or just stay in touch. The goal of my business is to make as many friends as possible. So that's my job. I'll see you guys later. Bye.